Just looking for some fuel. Is anyone here? Locked. It's only made of glass though. Ah, 
Well, at least I'm in. I need to practice my reading at some point. I'm not very good. There was a kid here at one point. I guess whoever lived here can't be that bad. Okay. These must be the guys who lived here. I wonder what happened to them. Yes! <gasps> Finally! Stop. <gasps> don't move. I don't want to shoot a kid today. O okay, okay. Is there anyone else with you? Yeah, and, the, and they're waiting for me outside. I don't believe you. You would have come in with them. Don't lie in a situation like this. You're not any good at it. Look, I just came by to get some fuel. You can have it back. <laughs> or if it's food you want, I, I can... I don't care about that. Then what do you want from me? The keys to the truck. The one you just drove in here with. No. No. Mia, what's taking so long? We don't have time for this. Once the sun goes down, it'll be back. Forget all this, just shoot him and let's <gasps> go. No, we have time to do this peacefully. Why do you need my truck? There's a nocturnal in Ruddleside. Well, then you guys know I need that truck too, right? It's just how it is. I'm sorry. If we take it, he's gonna die anyway. Why postpone his death? He's a fucking kid. I'm... I'm not a murderer. Hand over the keys. Okay, okay. Wait, 
I almost got it. There we go. Shit. Oh, what the fuck? Just give me the fucking keys. Yes! Sorry about that. It's just my own safety, you know? Wait. You stitched me up? Yeah, sorry. My stitching isn't the best. No, 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 no. You, you saved my life. Well, you're welcome, I guess. So, wh where exactly am I? I mean, what is this old rusty thing? It's where I live. Oh, sorry. What? It's fine. It's just an old train carriage. You crashed into the train yard earlier. Oh shit, my truck. How did this all even happen? I need to know I can trust you. Um, well, I was passing through Rodoside, and I stopped at that furniture place to look for fuel. Furniture Valley? Yeah, that's it. Wait, do you know them? Those people there? No, I stay away from that place. There used to be a whole group, but the nocturnal attacked them a few days ago when I arrived in Rodoside. I'd be surprised if any of them are still alive. Wow. 
one less now. I had to shoot one who was trying to kill me. Oh god. What did they want from you? My truck. And now nobody has it. I'm Ted, by the way. I'd shake your hand, but... <laughs> What's stopping you from using your left hand? That's not the right way to do it. <laughs> Just don't try and kill me. That's all I ask. Thanks. Diego. Nice to meet you, Ted. Thanks for looking after me. I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself. I'm amazed you've lasted this long then. Yeah, me too. You know, I've been looking for a community for a while, but... Well, I've had no luck. Do you know of any around here? With Furniture Valley out the picture, I don't think so. You're actually the first person I've seen in a while. Damn. Can I ask, why do you want to find other people? Well, I don't know, I mean, it's not nice to be alone. I guess I, I like being with other people. It's not nice to have to rely on people either. No, but what's the point in surviving if you're just going to do it alone for the rest of your life? Isn't the point to spend it with other people? I mean, that's what they did in the past. I know what you mean, I get it. I actually forgot how nice it could be to talk to someone else, especially at my own age. It's gone. Of course. As if this town wasn't bad enough already. It's got a fucking nocturnal. Must have heard your truck crash earlier. I still don't know what I'm gonna do without it. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> no, no. I was just thinking about how I know where another working car is. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> how? The only place left with cars are the communities. I mean, that's where I got my truck from, at least. I thought the rest had rusted away, no? This one was stored indoors, perfect condition, fully fueled up. All it was missing was a battery, like the one in your crashed truck. Amazing. Well, where is it? Hold on, hold on. First, let's make this a deal. If I show you where this car is, then you can drop me outside of Ruddle's side, and we can go our separate ways. Deal? Yeah. Sounds good. But... You aren't going anywhere in that condition. We'll have to wait a couple of days for your wound to heal properly. Try not to get cabin fever. Fever? Are you sick? Is it contagious? I can't tell if you're joking. It's not an actual disease, it's a saying. As in, we'll get sick of each other? Well, I hope not. Right, we need to sleep. I'll stay up a bit in case it comes back. <sighs> Good night, Ted. Good night, Diego. <laughs> that is what I would say. <laughs> Looks like it's getting better. Still haven't heard him play guitar yet.
I've had that t-shirt for years. I got a nice hoodie now. <clears throat> Enjoy your lion. I'm starting to think you died of your injuries. Hey, I've had an exhausting last few days. Oh, of course. Sitting around in a train carriage all day can be so tiring. Hmm. My wound's getting a lot better. Good. No fever or anything? Nope. Just cabin fever. <laughs> so, what are you up to here then? Making a fire pit. We need to eat before we head out. Wait, we're leaving today? I could use a couple more days still. We have no choice. The Nocturnal's been here twice in three days now. We can't stay in Rodolside. It's not safe. Okay. One of us needs to gather logs. The other should look for food. Take your pick. I'll search the forest for food. You'll be okay? With your wound? Well, if we're leaving today, I'm going to have to walk sooner or later. Hey. You know which berries are poisonous and which are safe, yeah? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what I can find. Poor bird. It looks like his wing's broken. Hmm. He'd actually be enough food for the pair of us. Don't really like mushrooms, but maybe Diego will. Right, I think I'm done. I'm back. Look what I got. Those berries aren't poisonous, are they? No. Watch. I know which berries are poisonous. You know, I've been surviving out here just as long as you have. Yeah, of course, sorry. I'll try and have more faith. Come on, let's eat. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll do it. Well, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Go on, what was the worst thing? I ate a meerkat once. What? A meerkat? It's, it's like a type of mongoose found in- No, I know what a meerkat is, which makes me think you don't. It can't have been a meerkat, there aren't any native to these parts. Didn't I tell you that I grew up in a zoo? I thought it was a metaphor. No, I told you. I grew up in an abandoned zoo. Yeah, it still had meerkats and... Oh, and it had a gibbon named Lulu. How on earth did a monkey survive all this time? Well, I just slept in trees and ate bananas.
Okay. You ready to head out? Yeah. I think so. Wait. Are you leaving all your stuff behind? Yeah, it's just stuff. None of it's worth my life. Except my guitar, of course. Hey, you still haven't played anything for me, you know. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'm rubbish. Come on. I've never heard someone play guitar before. Seriously? Maybe I'll play you something once we're out of Riddleside. Really? That's if we make it. We still need to get there before sunset. Come on, let's go. Okay. So, where are we going then? To the high school. That's where the car is. Here, take this. Wait, we're going down here? Isn't that the kind of place nocturnals live? Trust me, it's the fastest way to the school. We'll be fine. Well, if anything does happen, remember I have the keys, so don't leave me behind. You think I'd do that? I don't know. This is exactly the kind of place an Octana would live. It's sheltered from sunlight and... Hey, why don't we talk about something else? Like, how are you finding that Boss Wigo hoodie? Does it fit okay? Yeah, it's great. Especially since nights are getting colder now. What does Bus Vigo mean, anyway? It's the name of the town I grew up in. Now that I think about it, you haven't really mentioned anything about your past. I don't really want to talk about it. Come on, I told you about growing up in a zoo. Okay, but I didn't grow up dancing around with monkeys. It's just... sorry. I just lost someone, okay? Simple as that. We all did, I know, but I just found out the hard way that getting too close to someone only leads to pain. So that's why you prefer to be alone? Ted, just drop it, okay? Just up this ladder, come on. <gasps> Oops. Oh, that's just great. How am I supposed to get up now? It's okay, I'm sure there's something you can use. <sighs> Fuck. Look, I will just... I'll have a look round. By myself. Careful.
Everything's fine. Found some rope. That's Quick, take it. There's one down here. A nocturnal. Okay, come on, quick. No, my guitar. Ugh, leave it. Let's go. Shit. No, Ted, what are you doing? Ted, you saved my guitar. Of course. It was important to you. That's insane. You shouldn't risk your life for something like that. Okay, well, I thought maybe you'd be grateful. Of course I am. Thank you. But that wasn't smart of you, Ted. Hey, come on. Let's go. School's just up this road. Hey, look. Hey, is Ruddleside near any craters? No, no. The nearest impact site's like hundreds of miles away. Yeah, I thought so. There's too many trees and the buildings here are too intact. I wonder why the military came through here then. They probably came through every town when it all started. But whatever they were trying to accomplish, they obviously didn't get very far.
See? I told you I knew where I was going. Wait. Look at those. Somebody's old pair of glasses. Want to try them on? Sure, why not? You know, I'm actually kind of short-sighted. Don't tell me that. You're supposed to be driving us out of here. It's not like there's other cars on the road. Go on, put them on. Beautiful. I don't think these are right for my eyes. They are probably for reading. Still suits you though. Ugh, oh, what's that smell? <gasps> I guess we found who owned the glasses. I never noticed him before. Ugh, oh, how long has he been here? I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to it. That's probably a good thing. Come on, let's go. I'm always falling into places, I swear. Wow. It's like, frozen in time. I guess no one's been here since the impact. Explains why the car was untouched. I don't understand. What is this? I thought school was supposed to be boring. It's called a prom. They had them at the end of their school year. To celebrate their release? Something like that. My parents met at their prom. They always talked about it. I don't know who my parents were. I think they died when I was a baby. Who raised you then? The people at the zoo? Yeah. And they were only teenagers at the time. I don't know how we made it so long. Eventually someone found us and I ended up in a post-military commune after that. It's where I learned how to read, shoot, drive. And that's where you stole the truck from? No, I, I didn't steal it, Diego. That whole place got overrun with raiders and I barely escaped with my life. Surprised you managed all of that, if I'm honest. The car's just down here. so weird to think they celebrated the meteor. If only they knew what was coming. Adorable, isn't it? So little. Are you sure it's big enough? It'll just be cosy. You don't mind? Hmm. I'm still recovering from my cabin fever. <laughs> we should leave in the morning when it's light. We don't want a nocturnal coming after us. Our only problem now is this shuttered door. 
needs power. Oh, great. Well, now we're stuck here. No, look. I still need to put the battery in. So while I work on that, why don't you try and get the school's power back on? Yeah, fine. This gives me bad memories. They had one of these at Furniture Valley. Glad I was able to save this. Yeah, I won't forget you did that for me. Of course, another door code. So I expected, nothing happens. I actually did it. So, what's the plan once we get out of this town? All I care about is getting as far away from Riddleside as I can. Maybe somewhere warmer. Yeah, definitely. My ears get really sore when it's cold. Oh. What? No, nothing. Do you think things will ever go back to how they were? Like, before? Hmm. I don't think it can ever be the same. Why not? With the Nocturnals dying out, surely what's left of the world can rebuild. That's assuming what's left of the world would want to. You think they wouldn't? The people who would have wanted to would never have survived this long. Well, I did. Barely. You said you killed someone a few days ago. Someone at that old furniture store? Yeah, I, I told you it was self-defense. How come? You just haven't mentioned it since. You know, it seems like something that would stick with you for a while, but... You don't seem to be affected by it. I'm guessing you killed people before then. Yeah, but only people who were bad. 
How do you decide who's bad? Well, the people who attack my zoo are bad. And they kill children. Okay, yeah, that... that's bad. What about the woman at the furniture store, then? I regret what I did, but I... I was... I was so scared. You know, it was me or her. We should sleep. Night, Diego. Good night, Ted. <clears throat> Diego? Hey, not fair. I didn't know you were listening. I wasn't playing my best. Well, it sounded good to me. Then again, I mean, I've never heard someone play guitar, so... You could be rubbish. Hmm. Thanks. So... What are you doing here? Couldn't sleep. How come? Just thinking about stuff. What stuff? I'm good at stuff. Well, you got me thinking earlier, talking about our plans. I'm just... I'm just worried you're thinking about them as our plans. As in, together. So, you want us to go our separate ways? I just have this memory screaming at me from the back of my head whenever I picture us leaving together. I know you think surviving together out there would make things easier, but I've done this all before. What happened, Diego? I was travelling with the only person I've ever really cared about. We chose to leave Bos Vigo so we could start a new life somewhere else, just us. I was so naive back then, I thought our plan was perfect. When I woke up the next day, I found out it was only my plan. Theirs was to abandon me with all our belongings and leave me for dead. And I almost was. My 16 year old self was out in the world with absolutely nothing except a knife in the back, I never want to feel that way again, Ted. I just think, if we see our goodbyes outside of Riverside, then we can at least end it on a nice note, you know? I don't want to let my past interfere. Diego, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not them. You're missing the point. What if something else happened? I wouldn't... I couldn't see anything bad happen to you. What are you doing? Well look, if we're gonna say goodbye, then let's at least have a goodbye dance. What? It's like prom, you know? <sighs> hey! Get up, come on. Look. I don't think we're doing this right. I think this is how they used to do it. Okay, ready? Ow, watch where you stare. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna miss you. I'm sorry. You probably hate me, don't you? Of course not, don't be silly. You're my favourite person I know. I'm the only person you know. Even if I knew a thousand people, I'm sure you'd still be my favourite. <sighs> Maybe I... <gasps> That's right. Heard the music coming from the school. I knew it would be you. Shit! Diego! I'll be fine. 
What the fuck did you do? Revenge for Maggie. Remember? The one you killed in cold blood? Did you really think I was going to let you get away with that? And what could you possibly want from me now? The car. I saw it when I came in. Give me the keys. <sighs> Ted, don't. <sighs> no. This way. Ted, quick, help me hold the door. I'll find us a way out of here. Wait. Hang in there, Diego. We're almost out. <sighs> Look, we made it, see? Uh, Ted. Diego! <sighs> oh no. Ah, I can't, don't. Come on, please. I can... I, I can stitch you up. You don't know how to do that. You can teach me. Please. I can't be alone again. You're my best friend. I'm your only 
me, friend. Ah. <laughs> <sighs>